So we are just starting to study out our Shule Vismar, my first day in Vismar were full of different events. I just moved in my room in the dormitory and I didn't know every, anybody there yet. But the next day, you know, it was my birthday and I, of course, don't want to pass it alone. So I decided to go to know my new flatmates and celebrate with them to have fun together. Unpacking things really tired me. Then I smelled a good coffee from somewhere. Uh, I needed a coffee for sure, so I started to follow the smell when I met my new neighbor. The girls were making some coffee, so of course I uh, asked for one. Oh, we have a new neighbor. He seems nice. Yeah, you know the new French guy looks so handsome. And his tired eyes were so cute, and I couldn't say no for coffee. <laughs> the girls were so kind to me. So I invited them to my party right away. I was really happy that Pierre came over and invited us uh, for Saturday night. I love parties. And of course I said yes right away. Woo! <laughs> I have never eaten French food before. I'm really looking forward to. I'm so happy. I met my new neighbors and especially a girl named Sinshu. She is cute and friendly. She's pretty my type, you know. However, when I came back to my flight, uh, I needed to use the bathroom. And the bathroom looked like a swimming pool. Water everywhere. I think I should talk to my flatmate about this problem. Well, my new flatmate looks like a nice guy. I think he's kind of tidy and organized type of person because he was talking about cleaning the bathroom and keeping it that way in the future. He suggested to have a cleaning schedule for us. I agree, because it will be fair for both of us. And this was the first time that I bought cleaning products. I have never done housekeeping before. Oh, I'm so happy that my flatmate agreed with my suggestion. At first he was a bit messy, but no, he understood what he should do with a shared bathroom. Oh, um, by the way, I think I live with a single shower star. <laughs> we sh he should come to my party too. So we went back from the market with all the stuff for my birthday and then suddenly I found the kitchen in total chaos. The food in the fridge was rotten, the floor was sticky, the oven was greasy, the stove was not even visible anymore. In my mind I was thinking how can they survive in this kitchen without being food poisoned. I was glad when Sinshu asked me about the meal that I will be cooking. You know she was very cute when she asked me. But come on, I can't work with this. So I told him that I can't cook in this dirty kitchen. So we have to clean it first. For me, the kitchen is fine. The purpose is to cook. And as long as you are able to cook, it should be OK. Oh my goodness, Aslan was surprised and said, but the kitchen is not clean enough to cook, isn't it? Like really, Aslan? I was really impressed by Pierre, the way he speaks about this messy kitchen. You know that he is a very clean and organized person. And he is so handsome. Plus, he cooks so well. So we went inside the kitchen to meet boys. Pierre looked so frustrated, and I definitely know why. Because of the kitchen. I know that it's dirty too, and I could clean it, but why should I? I'm sure someone will mess it up again soon. But yeah, anyway, I'm happy that Pierre opened up this topic and we decided to clean up uh, the kitchen for his birthday. Also, I hope uh, that Arslan will realize that he would at least maintain its cleanness. So we were cleaning the kitchen, then suddenly Sinchu slipped down on the floor. Luckily, there was Pierre, her knight in the shining armor, who caught her. And you know, I think these two will have a great semester. So after we finished the dinner, we continued talking, getting to know each other better. You know, partying, nice music, dancing. And you know, I heard that Sinshu likes badminton too. I'm gonna talk to her about that. Oh man, in order to, to make a party, you need to do some work. So we have cleaned the kitchen after dinner. It was crazy. I haven't done that much of cleaning for a long time. But it was good, you know? I enjoyed the party. It was so nice. Pierre is so cute and keen on sports too. His dancing is so cool. 
we had so much fun. Woo! You know, I could party until 5 in the morning. Woo! What were these guys doing? It's crazy. It's 11 p.m. and it's too late for me. I needed to sleep. I had an exam the next day and I needed a good grade for this. I was so upset, I went to their kitchen and asked them to be quiet because it was almost midnight. I need a good sleeping environment. So if you want to have fun with your friends, there are two ways. First, start your dinner as soon as possible and end it before 10 p.m. Or, go to the club and continue to party far away from the dorm. I agree it was too late for crazy music. We are so ashamed for having disturbed others. Yeah, it was my birthday and I wanted to celebrate it. Mm -hmm. But we need to keep in mind that we live in a community and we, we need to respect the others. And that morning when I was cleaning the trash, uh, Pierre came and helped me and I could show him where the garbage bin are placed outside the residence. When we were outside taking the trash out, we met some guys coming back from the sport of the Arshule gym and we asked more about that how to join the, the gym. And they explained to us and actually at that moment a badminton game was gonna start. It was the perfect timing and opportunity because in the night before, Sinchu and me were just talking about how much we enjoy badminton. Then I just got changed and me and Pierre went to the gym to play. Well, I'm so happy I found new friends. I'm happy because I live in a dorm with nice people. We respect each other and it makes our life comfortable. I realized that being messy bothers other people. Living in a shared apartment needs social and organizational skills. If you want to live together, we have to care about others too. It's important to talk to the person who is causing the problem. Verbal communication is really important for living together. We can't just ignore each other. We need to try to understand the feelings of others. Although the night was really fun. Yeah, we shouldn't forget we aren't alone. This experience is your advantage because it will be useful for your future life. Enjoy your student life and try to make your experience unforgettable!